they uh, they got three strikes and boom, they were out. It's hard to play by the rules if you don't know what they are. They're making it a lot more difficult for people, for sure. One, one. Please pay attention to the road. All right, so I just finished lunch and we are gonna head back this time to my office building and doing this very well. Perfect, now let's see how it merges here. Now, okay, good, slow down. I was gonna say, oh, is it gonna go for it or not? Okay, it's kind of playing games here a little bit with this truck. It wanted to accelerate and then it decided not to and then it tried to accelerate and then it decided not to. I, it was really awkward, but not bad. Hey guys, thanks a lot for joining. This is John here. I am driving through the northwest suburbs of Chicago, specifically today from Bradley, Illinois, all the way up to Schaumburg, Illinois. I'm going to do some really interesting tests here to see how the in-cabin camera tracks your eyes on the road to uh, prompt the message, please pay attention to the road, which if you get too many of those, you get removed from the beta program. Now, let's see if it changes lanes again to get away from this truck. I would have done already. And the same guy is behind us. He's pretty close behind us. Now is the chance to go. And I'm gonna accelerate, push it through a little bit. I cancel out of that because it was not moving. And that's one annoying thing is sometimes it just does not move, even if you accelerate it through. Now get back out of the passing lane. These guys are going really fast today. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick test here. In the past, what I did is I put my head down and I looked up and it would trigger the message. Another thing that I did is I would look straight and I would squint my eyes, also triggered the message. Another thing I did is I put my head up and kept my eyes on the road. I did not get any message. The one thing I have not tried is to keep my head straight forward and so what happens is if you keep your head straight forward and you look down or at the screen, it will notice your eyeballs and it will trigger the message, please pay attention to the road. But what I have not tried is to keep my head straight forward and look up. So I'm gonna try that test right now. There is not a whole lot of traffic. So this is the best time to test this. So here we go. Look, I'm gonna look straight, straight forward and then just kind of look up at the sky. In fact, I'm gonna look right at the in-cabin camera. Please pay attention to the road. Okay, it does not like it when you stare at the in-cabin camera. So don't do that either. <laughs> Okay, so we've got about 14 miles here before we have to get on Interstate 294 North. And I thought I'd do a couple tests just to see how the in-cabin camera is monitoring your eyes. Because it seems that that trigger will come up quite frequently now, especially compared to previous versions. So what I'm gonna do is try to figure out what makes it happen. So the first test I'm gonna do is keep my eyes on the road for three seconds and then look down for three seconds and then alternate. So here we go. One, two, three. 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 One, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
So hopefully you get the idea here. I do this test for a little while. I'm going to leave it running in real time just so you understand the nature of how long this test is being performed because I do this repeatedly just for different scenarios and you can see how it plays out very well. And I think I can safely document this now. Okay, that is not creating any issues. The next test I'm going to do is to do two seconds and three seconds. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two. Okay, so there that test also does not create any disturbances. Let's now do it so it's one second and three seconds. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. One. One, one, two, three. Okay, there as well, no issue. So now that I'm down to one second on the road, I'm gonna up the screen time to four seconds. One, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four. Okay, still not creating any issues. Now we're gonna up it to five seconds. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that also is not creating the message. Wow, just when I'm trying to make it come up, I can't get it to show up. Interesting. So now we're gonna go to six seconds on the screen, looking up for one second. Okay, there again, nothing. All right, next test. Now we're up to seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three. Okay, seven is not giving me the issue. So as soon as we merge onto this other highway here, I will continue the test and I will try it with eight. All right, so we're on this road going 65. I would normally be way up there with that traffic. So what I'm gonna do is tell it to change lanes and then bump it up to 73, let's say. Tell it to change lanes again. There's no one behind us. And get in a nice open spot to continue these tests. And bump it up to maybe 77. I think those cars up there are going 78, 80 miles an hour around Chicago area, the speed limits are always set to 55 or 60, but everybody's going 75, 80. 
it, the speed limit signs don't mean anything on these highways. It's really ridiculous. They should just take them away entirely. Okay, so nobody behind us. A good chance to resume our test. We've got 19 miles ahead of us here before we have to merge onto the next highway. So just make sure that we can get past this truck and they're not going to do anything unusual. Looks, looks pretty clear to me. Okay, here we go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, please pay attention to the road. There it is. So eight seconds with one second on does not like that. But seven seconds and one second on, no problem. There's the threshold, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know. Now I'm gonna do another test since we know that seven on the screen, one on the road is okay. I'm just gonna confirm that really quick. And then I'm gonna reduce the one second on the road to a half second. So we'll see how, if it, if it aggregates the total time over that nine seconds or how, how it's doing that. So let's just confirm here again, the one in seven still works. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, Okay, that still works, great. And now what we're gonna do is the half second with seven seconds on the screen. So I'm gonna do this as soon as the traffic gets a little bit nicer around me. I just got a lot of cars around me at, at the moment here. Okay, just making sure that I'm not going to annoy anybody around me if the car does something strange. Okay, I think we're good here. I'm gonna go down to 76. All right, here we go. Half second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Half second, one, two. Please pay attention to the road. Okay. so. Very interesting. So what did we learn? We learned that when you look at the road, it has to be for one second or more. And then when you look away from the road, it needs to be seven seconds or less. So now you understand what the limits are. It would be nice if they published that. Again, Transparency Tesla need this information written down so we know what the rules are. It's hard to play by the rules if you don't know what they are. This is exactly what happened with the safety score. The first couple days, I had no instruction booklet that told me anything because it, it Okay, so now that I have your okay, full attention, you go, watch guys. what happens as I go into this Let's construction zone. And I had no way of tracking it the first day. Even this, going into the second day. Oh, wow, did you see that? That was awkward. I mean, in construction, you need to be paid to paying attention at all times, as I am now, but you have to really be, uh, be be ready to take over. And that it handled it very well, but it just came as a surprise to me. Even if I was driving without this software, it would have came as a surprise that that r the road kind of, it, I didn't know if it was merging or what was happening there. That was really a strange, a little strange strip of road there. I'd say it handled that fairly well though. But yeah, no, how do you play by the rules if you don't know what the rules are? That's that's what annoys me. All right, so we're coming up on our exit here, and this is the one exit where it screws up every single time. It gets into left turn lane just fine, but then it turns left and stays too far to the left, whereas it really needs to get over to the right to stay away from the turn lanes, because otherwise it gets right back on the highway going the other direction. Okay, here we are, so it's gonna get off here. Okay, well done there. And coming up here, we're gonna turn left. Always interesting to see how it handles this. The, the right blinker's on, change lanes to follow route. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay, the, it can turn left from this lane. That's actually preferred. Maybe it learned something here. So half the time it will get in the far left left turn lane. The other times it will get in the right left turn lane. This is the correct turn lane to be in. And we're pretty far away from the line. You can see it a little bit on the on the road here. It's very grayed out, but there is the line being represented there. And we're pretty, like I said, pretty far away from it. Not sure why. And as you can see, it can't completely map out the entire path. So it, it knows that it has to go left, but it's not quite sure where. So here we go, green light. Okay, I'm nudging it forward. And here we go, it's hesitating again, not sure what to do and doing the wrong thing again. Oh, what a, what a disappointment. Had to take over there. All right, and we're back in business. Change lanes. It has never been able to handle that. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.